And we're back. <laughs> I don't want to. We're back, Johnny. Eat that, eat that butt. Eat that butt. We just go to the homage. No, we got to eat some butt first. We got to flay that butt. We're going to saute that butt. We are going to charcoal that butt. Oh, man. Black and butt too right much now. Butt. Mm-mm-mm. Trailer dump part two. Here we go. What do you got, Johnny? Um, I got bad moms. Ooh, they bad. They like they 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 stinking bad. Yeah. The they, mamas, you want them out of the school. Yeah. That I mean. They're not my mamas. Mm-hmm. My mom, my mom is a good mom. You want them out of the Bed Bath Beyond. You want them out of the strip malls. You want them out of the Panera Bread. You just want them gone. Just stay at home, moms. Yeah, and these this, moms are that bad. This just feels like out of touch. This is by the guys that um, wrote the the Bachelor movie. God, we drink too much. Um, they wrote the Hangover. The-, the Hangover. The guys that wrote the Hangover, <laughs> which I, I probably have right now. <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. Right yeah. Now. Um, These guys wrote the the the, yeah, the, cre- okay. the creators of the Hangover, and they are writing a the Bad Moms, which is about uh, a bunch of women that uh, decide that they don't want to be typical Stepford wives, be a PTA role models. That they just want to still be moms and have fun, which is I, I mean a, a cool idea for a film, maybe like a Lifetime film. I, I don't think it's a straight to theaters <laughs> film, uh, and it stars actresses I like. Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, uh, Christina Applegate. Who's the other one? Jada Pinkett no, Smith. Are, yeah, I think uh, that. And then Catherine Hine is the Han is the uh, she's the comedic one as well. Who was the woman that was? She was in um, Anchorman. She was in um, Christina Tra- a- Christina Applegate. No, um, not the blonde. Uh, she was in uh, Anchorman. Uh, she had a very small role in Anchorman. She was also in. Um, uh, the movie with uh, Jeffrey Tamborn, the TV show on Jeffrey Tamborn on Amazon. Um, yeah, her. Catherine Hahn. I just, that's her. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that was her name. Okay, that's who it is, Catherine. I like her. Yeah, she's hilarious. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. She's hilarious in everything she I does. Like her. She was in the... And she's like the opening of this trailer talking about being turned on by a man. And it's like a, it's like a, a bro-y woman film. That's a know? great way to put this. It's like, yeah. It's like... Real talk with women or something like yeah. that. Yeah, which there's been so many broy films that they deserve to have this film as well. Sure. The broy films suck, and this film probably sucks yeah, too. Yeah, see, they all suck. So it's not about a gender thing. Yeah, just they all suck. Equality. They're all gonna suck because I think com. I but comedies have just been pissing me off for a while, and I'm sorry. I'm a grumpy old man with that. I really am. Yeah, and it's, I'm not saying they're wrong and I'm right. I'm not saying that. I'm just getting very mad with comedies. Yeah, I really have been. And I haven't seen a good comedy, a really, really good comedy in a long time. A modern one. I'm going to praise that. Totally agree. And this is not going to be one of them, as we know. Bad trailer. Um, and we're not going to get too much into about, you know, it's, it's got nothing to do with women. It's, it's just got, it's got to do with comedy. I want to talk about a cameo I saw in this. Oh? Yeah. I want to talk about J.J. Watt being in this film. The, the women, I think you're just all talented. himself, he just can't resist. The women, I think they you're all talented. J.J., what the hell are you doing? Huh? You that money, man. J.J., right. he makes enough money. J.J. Watt already trying to get into acting. You're not an actor, buddy, okay? He had uh, one small role in um, The League. Yeah. It was pretty funny, I'm not going to lie, though. But I'm not saying he has an acting career based uh, on this one funny one. Not, really. not a big fan uh, of J.J., uh, and I, I think... I listen to too much of a podcast where they hate on JJ, and I think it's hilarious. Pardon my take. What up, Barstool Sports? I love it. Uh, and JJ, it's just like athletes trying to be actors, actors trying to be athletes. Just stick to what you do. You could have found a better actor to, to play this role. Rob Riggle. I bet you it's a very Rob small Riggle would have killed it. Don't you think so? Like, don't you think he's going to play a very small role? I think they put him in there like for the trailer. That's my. This is this is just my impression. Is that J.J. Watt, yeah, he's in this movie. Not going to deny that. But he has such a small role. But they put him in the trailer just for viewership. Like, just to get attention. Yeah. That's, my, that's just my I just my don't think it's good attention. You don't think it's trying to What's get the, some of the guy audience? You think the guy's audience are going to go see J.J. Watt? Sure. Uh, football. Enough said. Yeah, but nobody... Like, football players are in helmets for a reason, you know? Yeah. They're there. We want to see them. The you don't think athlete. there's any appeal in that? Like, you don't think there's like, oh, J.J. Watt's in this? I want to see J.J. Watt. Like, like, like well, LeBron James was in that one movie with uh, the female comedian. Uh, yeah, Trainwreck. Yeah, Trainwreck. Yeah. Like, same, you know, I think the same thing applies. 
Um, uh, LeBron James is like a a big name and a personality at this point, and I think JJ is trying to do that, sure, and, and show that he's like Captain America, you know, type of thing. Uh, I don't think LeBron James was good in Trainwreck. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Oh, I never saw it. <clears throat> I mean, he's he's okay in it, but it's just like somebody could do that bit role better. Okay. You know. Sure. It's it, you. You know, someone who actually you know studied acting, did the grind in comedy, you know, in the underground scene, you know, know what yeah. it's like to perform in front of a shitty audience or being heckled. Yeah. You know, know Rob what it's Riggle, like to, Rob to get, struggle to get an agent, and you know, you know, you know that sort of yeah. thing. You mean? Is yeah. that what you're saying? That sort of thing. Because no one fucking understands. And then JJ JJ Watts so hard. He's such a hard worker. All this other shit. I don't care. Get off, get off the screen, dude. Enough Go about, play football. Enough about that right now because this is about the trailer because if we could talk about sports. Ruined it for me. No, nah, I understand. Um, no, I get that. I really do. Um, there were elements of this trailer I was okay with. My problem was was like the length of the trailer. It was only a two-minute trailer, but it felt like it was 10 minutes. <laughs> like I just felt like I was seeing the same thing over again, just like... Bad, like moms who have kids and they're not great. What what else is to this movie? JJ Watt. <laughs> I, I it was like honestly that's all I felt like it was like a bunch of sketches put together and there's no plot or story. It was just like these moms, these are women who have kids and they're bad moms. That's it. That's the movie. What is there a, a growth in here? Is there development? Is there conflict? Is there a villain is there like what 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 is to this movie? There's cattiness. I, I that's there's, the only thing like the biggest thing I have this movie. But I like the ending line. I'll give it a little bit of credit. I thought it was pretty funny when uh, me, me and Kunis is hugging her kids like mommy loves you so much or something. They're like God, mom, why, don't say that out so loud. And she's like, mommy loves her little kids so much. I'm like that was pretty funny because you know parents do that. Yeah, that's what, that felt like a real moment to me. A little eyebrow raised on it though because. Usually Hollywood takes younger people and they're played by like way older people, like 90210. Like you have, sure. you have like these 30 year old. Well, that, is that you, still going on? You have this like 30 year old playing like a 17 year old. Sure. sure. Is that still going on? Yeah. You think? Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, it's like they do I it. I know it was big in the 90s. I don't know <laughs> if it was still going on. Yeah. I mean, they, they do it a lot. Okay. And in this film, you have very young women that are playing very old moms. Like Mia Lacuna says, like, it looks like teenage kids. Yeah. And she is a mother, and so is Kristen Bell, but they have, like, infants. They don't have, like, sure. full-grown. So it's just a, a different thing. Like, is this believable? Is this not? I'm sure they had to yeah. use these people to get it made. And then they decided J.J. Watt. <laughs> you can't get over J.J. Watt in this trailer. Out of all this trailer, after all the, the... I hope he has a terrible year because of this. That's so funny. You're going to get injured, J.J. This guy is a sports fan. You're going to get tell. injured. Um, regardless of J.J. Watt, uh, mm. even if he wasn't in this trailer, um, I'm just disappointed in comedies. I'm just, I'm, I'm in comedy. I've been doing it for seven years and I'm not sounding pretentious. I'm not trying to say these are wrong. Don't see, I'm not saying that. I'm just, comedy is very, can be very subjective and I'm just this these movies like this just do not appeal to me. I've not I, I cannot remember the last time where I saw a comedic movie and I was like I have to see this movie because I know I'm gonna laugh my ass off. I cannot remember that. I cannot remember the last time that would happened. It's been a long time. Um. I I really don't know um what it is with me. Maybe I'm just an old soul with comedy and movies. I don't know. I grew up with classics, quote unquote classics. I don't know what that means anymore. I mean, but. Modern movies with uh, comedies, uh, but I've been surprised a couple of times. Not often, but I have been. I think the two most recent examples, and they're not old now by today's standards, is um, you know old school and uh, the forty year old version, and uh, um, and knocked up. Those were probably the, the three most modern movies I can think of that I really enjoyed that were uh, comedies. Um, the classics. <laughs> They're classics. Classic. Yeah, by my, my old soul, they are classic now, right? Yeah. Yeah. They are. They're good. They're classics. Yeah. I, I, but you like those movies, right? I do. I did. Yeah. They're yeah. hilarious. Yeah. I, I'd, add, I'd add probably a little bit more to them, but uh, yeah, they're, they're great. 
I'm just done eating butt. I'm done watching JJ. I'm done Watt. watching JJ. Watt. I want. just can't get off JJ Watt, no. and I understand that. You know, save JJ Watt Von, in two months when he's when we're talking we're talking fantasy. Von Miller was not in a movie this year. Yeah. He was making money. Okay, he was making his contract. Super Bowl. He MVP. won the Super Bowl. Enough said. Uh, speaking of classics, can we go to a classic? Let's go to a classic. I think we'll need a special guest for this classic. What yeah. do you think? We need comedy and classic. I know. I know the guy. You know the guy? I got a guy. You got a guy? You oh, got a guy. I got a guy. All right, Classic Johnny's got comedy. a guy. Johnny's got a guy. He's got to call him up. Johnny's got a guy. His guy will come up next. You know he's good for it. He's good for it. We need you. Coming up next. <laughs> 